Hello art lovers, we're here again. We're at the uh, Gopa Gallery, the Gallery of Progressive Arts, and we're here with Louis Solano, the manager of the gallery. And we're going to look at some of the other art that's in this gallery, besides mine, I can't take up all the time. So we want to see everybody else's. So what can you tell us about different artists that you have out? Well, um, we have um, Rido here, the, the urban style artist. He's got a great street feel. Um, some little interesting take on his uh, faces and stuff and mixed media styles. Um, then uh, we have uh, Cubo over here. Uh, Cubo is another urban style artist. He's got this uh, great, like, really, you know, street level kind of thing, you know, and then he gets into these really uh, intricate, uh, detailed uh, um, jungle scenes and landscapes and animals and stuff. It really shows some range. Yeah, I like this one a lot. It actually reminds me a lot of Rosetta's work. Like he always has like the, the female or the, like the strong warrior woman with posing with the fierce animal and very it's very cool stuff. I like the color palette a lot on that too. That's, yeah, the, the greens and the and the oranges in the front of oh, that's definitely that's a nice one. That's a good pop in there. He has his blue dream. This is part one of the series. Uh, part two is, is already completed. We gotta have that one displayed again. But uh, what's your take on that? Well, I've never thought of uh, having my girls melt before, so this is a really interesting kind of concept to me. Usually I keep them all together, but I do really like it, and I love the colors. I think, you know, I'm, I'm very drawn to colors. I love the blues with this very nice, subtle, almost black, purple background. So I think it just really creates a very mellow mood. Or yeah. you're not so, they're just kind of mellowy. This is kind of, it's, it's a almost nice like that's what it is. So she's kind of just relaxing and yeah. just kind of letting it all go. It's very fluid and that's a, it's got that whole uh, range throughout the piece. I think that spray paint feel really helps with that as the background. It's not too harsh, you know, it's very light. So, um, move along, we have uh, some pieces from me. Uh, this is like a, a quick uh, one, uh, experimental one on uh, Marilyn Monroe. Um, I like this shot mainly for the, the carnation and I wanted to have that, you know, emphasized with the lips and kind of like a passionate kind of romance feel um, with the reds and, you know, just kind of getting that, uh, the feeling of, I guess, romance and love in the red and really emphasizing on that and holding it back with, uh, with the contrast of the black and the gray and then um, uh, making the red pop on that foreground. But uh, we got some other ones here where I, I did some uh, variety of backgrounds. Um, this is, you know, kind of doing on that take of interacting that background of the foreground with the drips here. Um, we have that same kind of thing going on here with the washy look. Uh, I, my preference, I would prefer something more like this. It seems like it gives you a little bit more range in your depth. But um, and the colors, I, I'm into more of those cool colors. You know, like, yeah, I, I like the purples and stuff too. Um, this is another one, I, I, another Maryland I went down with. Um, um, this one, I, I really love the eyes and, and the, you know, the glare, you know, and you kind of connect a little bit more with it uh, as it's a direct pose. Uh, what do you think on this one? Well, I definitely like how you have the subtlety and the smoothness of her skin with such a rigid almost background with so much texture to that and it's just so not busy, but there's a lot going on in the background where she's so much more just subtle. But she's but she's the main image, so it's kind of there's a lot of contrast in this piece, anyways, and it's it's very beautiful. I, I like what you're saying with the eyes and how you have the reflections and they do draw you in. They're very gives it a more lifelike feel to it. Definitely, it's really really cool to, to do some kind of portrait style stuff. It's not really my emphasis, but I, I like to touch on that here and there. And of course, we have a lot of uh, Nikki stuff here. The range of art style is pretty wide. Um, you want to finish this up with a uh, little touch on yours again? Or? <laughs> well, everybody already knows my work. If you're following these videos, you know what I do, you know what I love, and I love drawing beautiful women. Uh, actually, Louis, you, you, you do great work, so I hope you continue to do more beautiful women as well, because we always can use more talented people in our genre. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely will. <laughs> oh, <it's fine>. so, <laughs> anyways, like I said, we're at the, uh, the Gopa Gallery in downtown Riverside. And if you haven't been here, if you're in the area, do come and check it out. They have an art walk every Thursday and they open up the doors. And they also do some live painting events where artists come in and they start painting. And they just, it's wonderful to see other artists and it's wonderful to come in and interact with them and see them at their craft. So 
If you're around, come check it out. If you're not around, check out their websites anyways and see what we got going, okay? And we will see you again next time. Thanks for joining us.